Hi everyone, I want to welcome you uh, to the first video uh, from our Advanced uh, Quantitative Economics class that we're going to have this semester. And uh, before we move to the actual material we need to cover, I just wanted to tell you that we are going to, uh, to, be, to continue in this class with what we stopped in uh, dynamic economic analysis. So, first thing I would really, really like you to do is to review the material about first order differential equations that we covered over there. Links to all these materials, material you can find in the description of the video. But this is extremely important. Why? Uh, uh, it, this is extremely important because without understanding how first order differential equation works, you will not be able to understand anything that we are going to talk about uh, in this class. So before you start actually watching this part of the course, I really want you to revise what, what was there. Uh, this is actually very important because in this class we're going a little bit into space in a sense that, uh, uh, that uh, the things you're going to see over here are uh, having, are uh, actually taken from relatively complicated mathematical relationships, but they have extremely great applications uh, to uh, economic problems. Well, uh, I don't want to scare you too much with this, uh, because of course there is a good side to it. Look, in this class, when we're going to have an exam, you can use formulas. There will be special sheet with all the formulas that we've been used, we're going to be using in this entire class. Uh, in this entire class, uh, you can have it during the exam, you can use it. Uh, because look, what we're going to cover here um, very often uh, is associated with rather complicated formulas. Well, I must know them by heart because I teach it, but I do not expect you to do. Like, what is going to be important for me is that you are able to locate appropriate formula, apply it to a specific problem, and then give a proper interpretation of the result. And this is it. Uh, so, unlike in all the three classes that we had with each other before, in case of this class, you can use uh, uh, you can use uh, formulas as much as you want. You're gonna get a special sheet. Okay, so now about your grade. Look, for this, uh, in case of this class, uh, uh, the grade is gonna be composed out of two components. Each of them is worth fifty percent. Uh, first, 50% is associated with the coursework. So here are all the uh, here are all the quizzes, all the exercises that you will be given by Ms. Valeria Yersh, uh, quiz teaching workshops. And of course, at the end of the semester, we're going to have a final exam. And during this uh, final exam, you will have, I think, four or five different problems to solve, but of course you will have plenty of time to do it, you will have the formulas. Even though the material we are going to cover here is relatively complicated in comparison with anything you've been learning this far, uh, the exam is not that problematic. Just remember, you, you need to know how to apply those formulas. So. 
And for that, to be, and, and in order for you to be able to do it, you need to understand how they work. This is why in this class, I will always start with some mathematics, derivation, going derivations, going step by step, leading us from some very simple assumptions to relatively complicated conclusions. However, uh, you will see all the steps and why is it going to happen. Then, after that, what we are going to do uh, is we are going to move. Uh, uh, we are going to move uh, to uh, economic applications of what we have learned. Okay, and there is one more thing I want to say here. Each year for this class, I need an assistant. Uh, what assistants do, I cannot tell you because it would spoil the surprise. It, but let's just say that the first person who's going to write a comment in here with their student ID is going to be my assistant for this class and then I'm going to explain what are the responsibilities of the assistant and what are the perks of being, uh, uh, of being an assistant. Okay, so now we've covered, uh, we've covered what we're going to do in this class. In the next video, we're going to start with the material and with what we're going to do, uh, and with what we're going to be doing. Oh, let me just tell you one more thing. We are still using the same book, right? Fundamental Methods of Mathematical Economics. Alpha Chunk, Kevin Wainwright. Okay. Uh, important thing for you is that we're going to cover four chapters from this book. It's going to be chapter 16, 17, 18, and 19. So just four chapters, not much material, but uh, I will also be adding in this class things that are outside this book. Uh, because we will be making connections between mathematical economics and econometrics, especially when we're going to move to difference equations, because there is one-to-one -one correspondence between the two. And uh, I also wanted to bring some, let's just say, more fun models to work with. Then you just got it, uh, got it jump. Actually, we're going to cover here one of the models that, uh, in detail, that we're also will cover actually in uh, international economics class uh, next semester. So once you know it, how to do it here, it's gonna be super easy for you. Uh, uh, it's gonna be super easy for you uh, in international uh, economics class. Okay, so thank you for your attention. And since the next video, we're starting to do the actual, uh, actual material. Take care.